welcome to the In Association for MTK Global. We're in Crystal Palace, we've got promoter Tommy Dove. Just witness a great card, action packed thrills and spills as we would expect on the small hall bonanza. How are you, Tommy, mate? Not bad, James, you? Yeah, not too bad at all. Firstly, talk, let's start top of the event. I mean, Nathan Gorm and Dominic Akin Ladies been filmed yeah. for a long time. How, how do you assess that fight? Yeah, it was, a, it was a, a tough assignment for Dominic. I think a lot of people were expecting him to get put down early. He went the distance. I still think there's a bit more from Dominic to come. I really genuinely don't believe that was the best of him. And still, maybe Nathan needs to prove a little bit as well. But I think, you know, they put on a good show and you know, top of the bill, it was, it was a good performance by both at Crystal Palace. Good turnout for tickets here. A lot of the fighters have, have worked their nuts off to make sure that you've got a crowd here. 100%. So I'm pleased with, with the way the boys have done and allocated their, their tickets and getting people here. Yeah, I mean, listen, these are small hall shows. That's always the problem you've got with the small hall shows. You know, the tickets, how many uh, do each boxer do. It's, it's a tough job, it really is. But they've done really well tonight, a lot of them. And there were some good performances in there and a couple of little upsets we're a bit upset about. But... That is boxing. We'll come on to that a little bit. AJ Carter in particular, yeah. heavy, heavy defeat for heavy. AJ Carter tonight. And I haven't had a chance to speak to, to AJ yet. Yeah. And I'm not sure what his thoughts are, but how did you assess that? Um, it's been out a long time. Um, he came back. It was a big fight for him to take. He wanted to take it. We decided that we would go for it. It's what he wanted. It's what we all wanted, really. And Camille done a good job, you know, Camille calm, he comes to fight, he's a tough sod and he turned up and he, uh, and he done, he gave a good performance. So AJ's going to have to hold his hands up, go back to the drawing board, but I don't think it's the last you've heard of AJ Carter and hopefully he'll come back strong. Young lad as well making his debut tonight, whose name alludes to me at this moment. I check Jack Smith. Out. Jack Smith. Devastating. Bad, yeah. bad night Absolutely, Jack yeah. What do you put that down to? Lack of inexperience? Overmatched? What, what, what does that come down to, Tommy? Um... Well, those weights, flyweight, bantam weight, they're difficult to match, you know. There's not many Eastern Europeans that you can match at that weight. And then domestically, there's not many either. You know, Craig Darbyshire is one of the lowest, but there were a couple of little, um, there were a couple of little situations regarding the fight that wasn't quite right. And I think, you know, Jack's got to go back. I, I wish him all the best, and I hope, obviously, he comes back strong. He's only a young kid. He can come back from this. But, um, yeah, it was a tough pill to swallow, and hopefully he'll... Um, He'll learn from it rather than uh, let it break him. What doesn't make you? What doesn't break you makes you. Your shows seem to be bringing in more of a of a buzz about them today. I saw some great, great names in the crowd. The likes yeah. of Spencer Fearon. We saw yeah. Dave Allen here. Obviously Ricky Hatton involved with Nathan Gorman and the full Hatton team and entourage and training team. So it must be good for yourself as a promoter yeah. to, to sort of see yourself progressing up the ladder and working with, with bigger names and bigger venues, mm. etc. No, definitely. I mean. That's why I got into it. I didn't really want to do shows and just kind of just keep doing the same show again and again and again. I wanted to try and, you know, build it and, and make it a little bit more productive as time went on. So working with people like Ricky, having people like Dave Allen down and, you know, the likes of Spencer, it's, it's a great achievement. And obviously even with the guys like, you know, Derek Williams and people like that, it's great to work with these people. You know, they've been legends in the sport, so I hope to work with them for a bit longer. Listen, Tommy, I appreciate you giving me a bit of time Both today. Phones Both phones are going mental at the same time, so I'm just keep trying to keep you in shock for text messages. <laughs> Thanks for having us. No problem, James. Take care. See you at the next show, I hope. Thank you. Take care.